Let me show you how I designed this church album cover of Flyer in Choir Draw. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Choir Draw, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is change our size. And the size we'll be making use of is 10 by 10 inches. So to change your size, come over to your property bar and select your unit. Then your drawing unit should be on inches, all right? Then um, you can change this to 10 by 10. All right, then press enter on your keyboard. You can use 1080 by 1080 inches if you wish. All right. So um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our rectangle tool and double click on this um, to bring it to the frame we have here. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to this thumbnail over here to um, remove the black stroke. Now, the next thing we're going to do is come over to our file and select import to bring in our backgrounds and other things we're going to make use of in this tutorial so come over to this download or just locate wherever your files are safe now um this is where and this is how and this is all the file we'll be making use of now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just um select everything then we're going to click on import then we're going to basically drop everything here now, this is what we are going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is, if you come over to this part, you will see that um, this is the text we're going to make use of. I've put out the names of the font for you guys to check it out. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is, we're going to bring in this um, background over here. So we're going to scale it up this way. All right. Then... um. Go to blur, select Gaussian blur. All right. Then um, you can increase this this way. All right. Let's increase this. The next thing we're going to do is you want to um, click on OK. Now, um, what you're going to do next is you're going to right click and select power clip. So somebody asked me a question. Why do I power clip? Um, why do I power clip my... Um, my images into the frame. So the reason is because now you can see that this image is outside, like this background is outside this frame. So if you don't power clip, you will notice that some particles will be going out of the frame. All right. Even if you increase it this way, you see some of them are going out. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to um basically right click and select far clip, then place it into this frame. Now the next thing you're going to do is you cannot you notice that um this is not fitted to this frame you're going to right click and select edit power clip so you bring this one to this part all right then i'm going to click on finish and the next thing i'm going to do is i'll bring in this background right i want to bring in this background i'm going to place it just right here all right so once i do that I want to select my transparency too. Then go to your image mode and select um, screen. Or uh, you can change that to soft lights. Let's try overlay. So we're going to leave our blend mode to soft light. I'm going to cut it using Ctrl plus X. Then right click and select edit power clip. Then place it into this frame. All right. So this is what we're going to have. So next we're going to do is we're going to click on finish. And basically, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring in this um this light flare over here, right? I'm going to basically scale it up this way. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my transparency tool. Now, you can see we have a four corner here. Now, in this four corner, if you want to blend this, you have to, um first of all, convert it to bitmap. So you can... um be able to blend multiple edges all right so to do that um fed out this edge using your transparency tool so like i'll let's say if you fed out this edge without um you know sometimes if you don't fed out the edges you will see a white outlines here coming out do you understand so now what you're going to do is you're going to select um bitmap convert it to bitmap then make sure your color mode is on rgb then um, click on OK. Now you can fade out this edge. Now you can bitmap again and um, convert to bitmap. 
fade out the edge, convert to bitmap. If you don't convert to bitmap, you cannot fade out multiple edges just the way I'm doing. Now, the last thing you're going to do is come over to your mage mode again and change this to screen. Now, this is what you're going to have. So, you're going to just uh, place this properly to fit in this uh, moon. All right. To fit in the moon. So, let's, let's scale it up to fit in this moon. And you um, okay, can see we have some going off this and that is perfect. Now, you can check the up one. Check the up one, scale it up a bit, and that is perfect. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, we're going to bring in this guy over here. All right. Now, you can see that it has a white background. Now, we we, uh, we have to convert it to um an object. It's actually an object, right? But we need to convert it uh, so that we can be able to uh, change the color. All right. Now, what you're going to do is come over to, um, I think they call it rasterize, if I'm, if I'm right. So, you can come over to your mesh mode, I'm um, sorry, your bitmap, select mode, then select black and white. Now, you can play with this trash hold, but make sure your conversion method is on line ads, all right? Um, now, you can click on OK, then go to trace bitmap, outline trace, line ads. Now wait for that to load. All right. So the next thing you're going to see is your before and you're going to see your after. So wait for this to load. As you can see, we have our before and we have our after, which has the transparent background. Now click on OK. Now you can delete this one. So basically what you're going to do is uh, um, you're going to just bring this over here. All right. Bring this over here. Now reduce it. And uh, what you're going to do is select your transparency tool, fade out this, this way, fade out this way. Now, what you're going to do is take it up a bit. So, the next thing you're going to do is bring in your rectangle tool and place this here. Then, well, probably that is already faded out. And, um, okay, let's fade it out also. Let's use our transparency tool or eyedropper to pick a color here. All right, just pick a color. Then um, can drop the color here. Then select your transparency tool. Fill out this edge. All right. Fill out this edge this way. And um, can give that black. All right. Let's give that black. But let this be revealing. So you can just click on this node here and um, reduce this to maybe... 30% to reveal it. Now, the next thing you're going to do is convert to this and um, copy this. Then we're going to place it just right here. And we're going to give it a white color. All right. Give it a white color. Can change the font, but me, I left it as area. But you can change the font to Monstrat. Monstrat. Is it Monstrat or what? Just change it to Monstrat, or you can leave it as Arial because that would be a very tiny text. Um, we're going to use our shape tool and drag this up to this edge. All right. So if you want to do what I did, select your shape tool. You can see this, uh, this stuff here. I don't know what it's called though. So you just straight, um, scale that up this way and, um, leave that to that. So this is actually how, um, the clients actually love his uh brand to be represented all right so um this is an album cover right it is is a church song cover all right so this is the title of the song beautiful mommy now i actually went to google um i i needed a cursive font so i went to google and type beautiful so i searched and i got this which i love so i'm going to extract this to make use of i'm going to go to bitmap select um, mode select black and white down select ok then go to trace bitmap add line trace line art and wait for that to load so right now what you're going to do is uh, this is actually a heavy file as you can see it is very very heavy it is very heavy so we cannot actually wait for it as you can see the time frame is large ok that was actually fast I want to click on ok and um that was fast actually. I never expected it. So I'm going to just 
delete the ones I don't want, delete this, delete this. All right, so I'm going to basically bring this one here. All right, bring it here and use shift plus page up to bring it forward. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in this copy mommy since we have gotten our beautiful. Then I'm going to scale this one up. The font I'll be making use of this is called Sergeant's Pro. So um, this is the font to be making use of. Um, I'm going to leave this to this. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to make this one bold. Um, convert to this and I'm making bolder. All right, so I'm going to select my shape too and bring this guy over here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one this way and uh, group it. Then select this, right click on it, power clip it inside this frame. Then right click again and select edit power clip. Then what you're going to do is you're going to scale this guy up and um, can leave this to this. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this guy up a bit. And um, bring in uh, the name of the artist. Place it here. We're going to use the same font, guys. So I want to give this one red. I want to give this guy red. Bring it down a bit. All right. Then this is the name of the producer. We're going to just use our text tool. Paste it over here. Reduce this. Give it the white color. Bring this over here. and. Uh, Reduce that. Make this one bigger. All right. So this is what you're going to have after placing this right flick. Now, uh, the next we're going to do is you not know, just kill this one, bring this one up, and bring this one down. All right. So guys, this is how I designed this church flyer or album cover in Corridor. If you have a question, please drop me a comment in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video.